going to an antique room on Let's Play. This is part number 28, I believe, and today we will be doing the Hungarian Grand Prix. And the weather forecast is looking great. And, I've, and there's apparently some regulations going on for next year and technical regulation changes to internal to the ICE. So let's say it's to system components. So, by the looks of what they want me to do is they want me to focus on working on the these the three main trees and work on durability like next season. Is what it's looking like it wants me to do. But honestly, I gotta work on it anyway because some of my durabilities need to be worked on, and I'm still making progress with uh, the efficiency upgrades. I'm gonna go next go for the chassis up. Yeah, chassis upgrade. And I guess probably after that, I'll start working on some upgrades. And then work, and while I'm working on getting the upgrades, I'll work on the efficiency upgrades as well. And we didn't have a good last two races, unfortunately. Hopefully, I, I can check, turn that around here on Hungary, uh, the Hungarian Grand Prix. And I might get a new, possibly a new potential new contract after this this race if I do I'm gonna I'm gonna lower my qualifying racing expectations but increase the perks a little bit mainly the upgrade time and I want to say the development and the development may work on those because I need those like big time upgraded so if I do that Let's see if I can, but let me go do my practicing, let me go do my three practices, and let me go qualify, and I shall see y'all at the grid. We've seen some astonishing Grand Prix here over the years, haven't we? The drama of 2015 is a recent example. Jensen Button's first win on a wet track in 2006, or in 1997, Damon Hill's heartbreak in the Arrows after a late gearbox failure cost him what would have been the team's only ever victory. What a wonderful place this is to come racing today. We're northeast of Budapest for the race today at the 2.7 mile Hungaro Ring circuit. 14 corners here, 8 to the right and 6 to the left, on a track where downforce is king and passing is notoriously difficult. Joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. Let me ask you about Renault. They've had just one retirement in the last five races. What do you think that says about the reliability of their car? I think they can be fairly pleased with that record so far. The first thing any good car needs is a solid, reliable base with which to build on, and they seem to have that this season. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Gardner, Sergio Perez, and Gasly, Albon, Magnussen, Raikkonen, and Lando Norris, Grosjean, Leclerc, Lucas Faber, and Sainz. Butler, Bottas, Lance Stroll, and George Russell, Giovinazzi, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. We've qualified above where we expect it to be, so try your best to hold on to this position in the race. So we end up qualifying P number four. I am very surprising. And uh, we're gonna go with the higher, with the look, with the uh, higher tire management. We're gonna go up to lap six, go from the softs to the mediums. So let me add up a good old 20 laps of fuel, and let's go start this sucker. This is not gonna be a good race for me. And the Hungarian Grand Prix is now officially underway. I'm gonna hate this race because the qualifying. Their practice set 13, and yet I qualified P4. I could not get it higher than like maybe fifth in practice in some of the practice sessions. But yeah, Norris, give me some room here, bud. Yeah, he didn't give me any room, so I'm in no way I fault for that. I don't know why he tried to squeeze me down low like that. That was just ridiculous. I don't know. Here comes the old main corner that I hate the most. 
just see if I can avoid going to the mail here. You can make this go down. That start was okay. Now stay alert for threats around you. The starts are never good for me anyway, so I don't know why he's like, he sounds like upset about like, start, the starts are never good in my favor. Never work. And I think I got landed more trying to get back at me now, because he, uh, yeah, he's trying, he's trying to come here. He's trying to get me now. See, Gasly's still back there. My Gasly's back there still. Going around the peak, uh, corner four, uh, turn 14. I don't really like that corner as much as, uh, I think it was turn five, I believe it was. And, I'm just, and we're coming to complete the first lap, and, Nor and Lando Norris is trying to get a run. He's in my draft, he's slowly closing in. But getting into turn one, he will not get to me in time. And let's see what I can do with it. Let's see what's going to happen next. Okay, entering lap three now. Oh, yeah, Lando Norris got the big one on me. Oh, the corner, which is why he got it by me, but... I should be able to get DRS somehow. Or not. I don't understand what I do. to lower my ERS to play it because of power because it got very low so crap happens with that but we we'll see if I go back and get back and close it back on the horse which I have started to close on and I thought about it but I was like doing that let's not, let's not do it it's too dangerous still but he's gonna start pulling away from me now so let's see if I can try to catch him back on the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. Okay, clear. No flags asked, who's DNFing now? Someone happened that to was someone coming into the first corners, and Charles and Claire trying to get away to buy me. And Kimmy Rankin is officially out of the race, is now out of the race. wonder what happened to the Alpha Romeo. I know he's Williams driver, I forgot. So what happened to the Williams? And I guess George Russell gets to the point right now. They look like they're trying it there. Carl Sites is also with He's also there on uh, Leclerc as well. And also, congrats to Charles Leclerc at Spa for his first one. He's also in set. I 
just shoved in the corner there. Sights and has to make a move, but he's right on my tail, though. Got a little, a little okay, bad idea in the corner. To pit this lap. And Sights is trying to get a run on me, and I break so late in the corner. I gotta have to stop by. I'm going to the pits and stop by. And Sights is not gonna pit, which means that I gotta make this as like the best as I can. Alright, here we are to the pits. Yeah, okay, there's a Haas that looks like it's Mac yeah, it's Magnus and it's gonna pit with Mac yeah, it looks like it's just gonna get out of the way. The horse chose to pit as well. Alright, here we are, and we are release two release. point four with two second stop times. Pretty dang good for my team. So uh let me set these things up and see if I can chase down the horse. Pit strategy second. complete. See these tires through to the end now. Carl's down the pits, and I just saw where Carl Sites is out, is coming out of the pits. So, this yeah, does not look good for me, possibly. Let's see if I can get any spots. We'll and I might just barely get ahead of Sites. Six seconds. Just barely get ahead of Sites. Which is pretty dang good for me. Yeah, if, I just, if I can just stay ahead of him now, and we'll say Leclerc, or that was like Perez. I think Perez is uh, ahead of uh, Norris, which. I can't see what, I can see too early on. He seems already ahead of uh, Norris. Prior to Norris uh, making a pit stop. We're gonna begin the DRS off for uh, Lando Norris. I'm gonna increase my pace a bit. But be aware, your tires yeah, need to go the distance. Who is the Alpha? Oh, my dad's uh. Oh, Albon, I gotta hit this. Uh, is that your aim? Am I seriously gonna make a three car pass right here on this corner? And I'm gonna just have my side Paris for fifth. Oh, I just dumped Albon. Oh, or not. I don't know what Albon's trying to do here. Paris is getting a run on me. And I forced Paris out wide.
because I'm going to lose the right right here to Ricardo because he's going to get right on my knee. Your lap times are falling off. We want you to pit in for repairs. Box, box, box. I'm going to the box. I just... Get it. Just... I... Kind of sent it to the corner. Wasn't even thinking that my turning was that. I forgot my turning was going to get that screwed up. Crap happens. Insult to injury, awesome. Insult to injury. Closing in on Ricardo. That happens. And Max Verstappen has won the race here and like I'm just getting on the first corner, he crosses the line. That's how far ahead Verstappen was. I kinda wish he lapped me, because maybe then I wouldn't have to run in our lap, because honestly, I don't even feel like running our lap right into the first strand. I ain't gonna get the Ricardo because of the uh, gap to car in front is 12.5 seconds. Oh yay. 12 more flats probably make it down into maybe 10, but it doesn't matter. I don't have the opportunity. I don't have a chance again to win the pass. If you continue to cut corners, the stewards will give you a penalty. Okay. It's the final lap, I ain't gaining any more positions, so I'm gonna give it a penalty and so it's been back and everything, maybe lose positions. Sure, it's not point down to 10 seconds. Man, if I had a couple more laps, and maybe no front and no wind damage, I probably would have caught him. Otherwise, nope. Perez basically dumps me for like fifth, costs me a top 10 position. Front wind damage costs me to get some spots. Whatever. I'm lowering some of my expectations again more help out for the um what's it? Red Bull pulling out all the stops today. What a great win. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I'd say it was down once again to good consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams and they're certainly proving themselves. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Max Verstappen now leads the driver's championship. Let's focus. Precision has to be commended. Let's move on to the...
so we ended again 19th, and then the points, I dropped out of the top 10, and now I'm in 11th. Butler and Albon are within a race, uh, with, okay, what, Butler is two point, he's a spot from me. And we're still 7th in the, in the points. Williams is currently 3rd, 3rd in the point in the constructor standings. I feel embarrassed for that. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. No, it was a crappy day, Claire. I'm sorry. I'm Some just... excellent overtaking moves from your former teammate today. Did he learn some of them from you? That's all I can really say about that. You've had experience with Devon's fast, aggressive style. Any advice for the drivers he passed today? That's all I can say. That was a close finish. How are things between the two of you? I, I really shouldn't say no comment. It wasn't the cleanest really race today, was it? It was more like it fall. Now that's gonna be a no comment right there. My rep's gonna go down for that. Great. Well, that's everything. Thanks, Claire. So I'm pretty sure with these points, I win the rivalry. In fact, I did. And I barely have the lead over Butler. This is gonna be, it looks like it'd be a tight battle with me and Butler, but I get the rivalry bonus for winning that over Ricardo. That helps me tremendously, but mentally not really. I know, I didn't get it. And oh my god, it dropped the wood. Well, let's hope for a better race next time out, eh? Okay, so let's see here. Gonna go mediums first. Expecting race. I'll do that. And I, I, I need all this. They aren't coming round to that proposal. Let's try something else. Our deep works. So, this? We're asking for too much here. We need to make some compromises. So, they want me to go low. Our proposal has been accepted. The new contract will take effect on the next oh race weekend. Oh my god. A level one? I don't want a level one. So, we're going to Spa. And last time, I won that race. I think I... Yeah, I let everyone go and won that race. Let me uh, get this upgrade in, because after this, after that upgrade's put in, I'm officially going to start working on getting part upgrades going. I'm going to probably focus on getting some power tree. I'm going to try to get whatever I can get the cheapest upgrades going first. If I can get the, the cheaper upgrades go first, that way I can get some form of improvement going and some work into the car. So we're going to go to spa next time, so tune in for that. So I shall see y'all later, and um, peace out.